Hello everybody and welcome back to my LEGO Racers Let's Play. We are now in part 6 and we are now facing Gypsy Moth. So, you think you can outface a veteran pilot like me? I'd like to see you try it. Oh jeez, just wait till you see how fast I go. Oh. Oh, you won't believe it! Yeah, yeah, she doesn't actually sound like that. But yeah, this is Gypsy Moth from Circuit 6. And she does the reverse of Puzzle the Batlord. Uh, she's the only female circuit leader in the game. And she's also the hardest of uh, the circuit leaders. So, that's one for the girls. Girl power, hooray. Y yeah, um. And this is this is the uh, circuit people have difficulty with most, obviously, because it's the most difficult one. And usually, what happens is people come second. They go on then to do the final um, circuit, and then they come back to try and come first in this one. And it is it's not that hard really to get. Once you know how what you're doing, it's not that hard to come first, but it can it is a bit more difficult to come first in every single race, as opposed to coming first overall. Um, the circuit has become a lot easier for me ever since I learned how to power slide, because when I was younger I didn't know about the power slide, and. I always just n turned normally, and that made the game a lot harder for me. And as I said, nearly a party is impossible. Or it might be possible, I don't think it is though, to uh, beat the time trials without the power slide, but you can beat all the circuits in circuit mode without it, but it's difficult. Now one thing I like about Gypsy Moth's car is unusual, but it looks really uh, cool at the same time. I always wanted a proper Lego set of like her car or something. I always wanted a Lego set of every car. And it is actually possible to build them yourself using just um, Lego pieces, but the pieces themselves are pretty hard to get. Now I take it this game was aimed for boys because, uh, as I mentioned earlier, how Jutsmoth is the only female circuit leader, and uh, the fact that they're only there are only three, I think. Fe I think there are only three female characters uh, in the game, but there's a fourth unused sort of like character head that's female. Which you can use uh, at the start of the game for your own racer. Uh, the other, um, the other female characters are Willow the Witch, who is. Uh, Basically, the person for Night Marathon and uh, Basil the Butler's replacement in this circuit. Uh, and the other one's Veronica Voltage, who is the person you face against in the time trials, who is the granddaughter of um, uh, some other Lego guy who I can't remember his name. Like Professor Voltage, I think, or something. And she is. Uh, probably the hardest opponent in the game, so that's another point for the girls. And that is the uh, race complete. Look how far back everyone was. <laughs> now 
Now this is the track I had most trouble on, on this circuit, just just like with Basil the Batlord. But I had more difficulty uh, against Gypsy Moth. Yeah, so even with the fastest car in the game I still had difficulty beating this. So that I really just shows that there isn't that much of a difference in the uh, chassis of the car. So unlike other uh, tracks where you might be able to get through by using other blocks, until you're ahead, like um, comfortably ahead, it is basically one of those tracks where the best thing probably to do is just rely on warps, which kind of goes against uh, what I say about it's not always the best tactic, but I guess it's the um, exception that proves the rule. I used to think, before I knew the, the shortcut in, in this track, I used to think that school, uh, the school was a, um, like a se secret, or it would lead to a shortcut of some sort if it was like shot or something, but it's just there, uh, for show. Also, the ship in the background shoots just randomly it doesn't actually have an effect on the track. However though I've learnt that in Imperial Grand Prix, the very first race, uh, there are cannons at a certain point and if you uh, press the item button it fires the cannon. Also if you don't have a coloured brick and you press the item button you sound the horn. And the horn sounds different depending on the car you use. I never really talked about the scoring system either. Uh, 30 points for coming first, 20 for coming uh, second, and t um, 10 for coming third. Then it just goes to I think, 4, 3, 2, and 1 points to their um, respective places. And there's a, I think that's supposed to be Willow up there. Now a strange thing with uh, that hazard, that drops, they're basically cannonballs, and the cannonballs themselves is, even after the cannonballs exploded, sometimes if you drive into um, the spot where it's exploded while the bang effect um, is still there, you still can get hurt by it. Oh, uh, this, I, I didn't, I actually forgot to mention as well that this was, uh, this is the only track in the game that doesn't have a shortcut. And I guess that does kind of make it a nightmare. On, especially for those people who um, are new to the game or who are just simply struggling. There was going to be a shortcut plan, but it was cut and I don't know why. I don't know if it was due to the time constraints or just due to the fact it wasn't practical. Who, who knows? So we've almost uh, finished, and we have finished. Oh, Sam Sinister. He is what, um, I think what Baron von Baron is currently called now, for some reason. And I think they slightly changed his appearance and started to call him Sam Sinister. For an uh, unknown reason. But yeah, that was it for uh, part six. I made it look easy, but it wasn't. In the next part, we will be doing uh, Rocket Racer Run, which is the only track in this circuit, circuit number seven.
against Rocket Racer. See you then, guys. Bye-bye.